to move a football obviously you will kick the ball suppose that if your friend is cycling and you want to stop the cycle so what will you do you will apply some effort from behind the bicycle so in both the cases in both the cases you are applying force yes so today we are going to discuss the chapter force and uh, what is given all the topic related to force we will study in this chapter we will study force and we will study pressure also so this is your chapter 4 uh, chapter 11 and uh, this is your part 1 and we are uh, completing our chapter summary in two parts so this is the part 1 and uh, here we will study some basic terms so now uh, we uh, i will explain you uh, this topic uh, in uh, new terms like uh, barometer what is pressure what is gravity atmospheric pressure static electricity okay and a uh, few definitions about uh, force or uh, what force can uh, change or types of force also we will discuss here we will discuss some new uh, definitions also some uh, unit of also and we will discuss here atmospheric pressure or pressure pressure is equal to force upon uh, area okay so this thing force upon area so this thing we will discuss here and we will see here that uh, liquid exerts pressure in all the directions equally one activity also given here we will uh, do this activity in in uh, our lab also okay so now let's get started first topic is given here uh, which is first topic is given here which is barometer okay so now barometer is it's an instrument for measuring atmospheric pressure used specially in weather for weather forecasting uh, barometer pressure or gravity so first of all we will uh, see barometer barometer is uh, an instrument for measuring atmospheric pressure used especially in weather forecasting so barometer is just a instrument in that instrument uh, 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 like uh, a glass tube like structure taken and in that mercury used to filled and one end sealed sealed means only one end is open then we uh, then uh, set up of this instrument is like uh, inverted gently inverted gently means see uh, this is the tube like structure in that mercury filled okay then this type of container used to keep and this tube should kept like this now mercury is filled okay now mercury is filled almost when atmospheric pressure have to measure then here should be some gap here here uh, in this tube some vacuum start showing it shows that uh, that particular place have atmospheric pressure okay so basically mercury uh, is uh, put in uh, tube and then after this tube should put inverted and then mercury falls down and this vacuum tells that uh, that particular place has some atmospheric pressure okay now next point what is given here pressure okay now next point is given here pressure so pre what is pressure suppose that this is the particular area we are forcing we are applying force at particular area this is known as pressure without pressure you cannot do suppose that you want to push uh, one of your friend from uh, uh, your in your way so you should put some uh, put some effort that then, then you are able to move your friend now so this type of pressure uh, the same pressure is given here also now gravity is written here also gravity means suppose that this is the earth uh, everyone walking over the earth because earth attracts uh, everything itself so because of gravity attraction so that's why it is known as gravity okay means gravity is just a force of attraction between all the ma masses masses means all the things uh, present uh, in the atmosphere now next point is written here atmospheric pressure so suppose that this is the atmosphere and it is putting some forces around you on you so this is known as atmospheric pressure now one point is written here also static electricity static electricity means uh, electricity accumulation of charge on a insulated body Acc accumulation of charge uh, is known as static electricity accumulation of charge means getting charges okay so this is known as static electricity suppose that uh, you are uh, combing your hair and after some time later uh, when you uh, brought near your hair you when you brought your comb near your hair then hair starts attracting why because some charges produces in comb by rubbing so this type of charge is known as static electricity now tomorrow uh, let's wind up the class today's class and tomorrow we will discuss this type of these uh, things these remaining things okay if you have doubt then you can drop your question and tomorrow we will complete the chapter